What's up mga kapugo? Andito naman pong muli ako sa inyong harapan at uh, magandang uh, gabi nga pala sa inyong lahat. Ngayon, as usual, bago ko mag-prepare ng aking tutorial, mayroon ako mga ceremonias. Yung ceremonias na hinahatag ko ang aking pagkain. Sa so, sunod, magbablog ako ng paano ko niluluto. Kaya lang, hindi ako marunong magluto eh. Pero, ganun pa man, Uh, bago ko mag uh, bago nyo panoorin ng aking uh, bagong tutorial ang bago kong tutorial ngayon is EPB tutorial number 5 sana gaya na sinabi ko po sa inyo kung meron kayong mga kilala ng mga engineers, MEP pwede nyo silang pwede nyo i-recommend ang aking channel tagsago na naman magkaroon ako ng viewers na mga engineers target ko rin kasi mga ibang lahi kaya kahit paano, nagtataglis ako pagdating sa introduction ko, taglis like this. Yo, good evening everybody. Like that. Pero pag uh, tutorial na ako, uh, purely 100%. Although ng aking mga English, hindi naman talaga fluid, pero naiintindihan na nila yun. <laughs> as long as naipaliwanag ko na maayos. By the way, ito nga pala ang aking ulam. Papakita ko sa inyo. Ibang klase na naman to <laughs> Chamba-chamba na naman. Okay. aking ulam. Yan. Bakit may kagat tong isda? May kagat siya, oh. Ako lang naman nakatira dito. Hmm? May kagat ka. Hmm. Taka repolyo. Hindi na ako titik na lang ako kasi ang ulam ko yun ang isda. Ha? Repolyo. Pero talaga bakit may kagat? Hmm. Huwag isa lang ako dito, ha? Hmm. Okay. Balik ko lang itong pagkain ko. Okay, yung, hindi muna ako magbabaway sa inyo ngayon kasi ang kasunod ng aking bye-bye ay nandun sa ating video. Let's go! Good evening once again. Nagkita na naman tayo, mga kapugo. Andito po muli ako sa inyo upang ipamahagi ang aking uh, kalamang sa MEP Repeat. Tonight, uh, we are now in the MEP Repeat tutorial number 5. The topic is, uh, uh, we will create the ACMB ducting layout in this room only. This is, this is only the guides for you to complete the whole model. Okay? Uh, before we, uh, I start, I want to uh, make a brief uh, review for my... Uh, ducting and system coloring this one is done under block 58 and then also uh, the uh, uh, types of elbows for the ACMB uh, this one under block 59 uh, tonight is block 60 which is the creating ducting layout okay so Uh, let's start. Okay, so this is the <coughs> sorry, this is the uh, model for the architectural and uh, structural. But um, uh, so far there is no ACMB layout. So we will create the ACMB layout in this room only. Once you learn how to create the ducting layout here, placing the exhaust air wheel, placing the FCU, and then connecting all the ductings into exhaust drill, and then you may be able to complete the whole uh, ACMB as per the sample model. Okay, so let's let's. Uh, Start okay. As you can see, there is uh, uh, already uh, exhaust air grill and mechanical equipment FCU. But if you want to uh, uh, look for the location of this exhaust air grill in the Revit uh, software, you can go to the insert 
and then load families and then of course we will be using the metric and then under the mechanical MEP air side components and then air terminals see you can see all the different types of grill here and then for the equipment mechanical equipment same process you can go insert load family and then libraries metric mechanical MEP same process air side components terminal units you can see a lot of FCU here, Pancol unit, and BAB outlets, different types. This is the uh, the pile locations of uh, families for the FCU units, air mechanical equipment. Okay. First is uh, in order for you to uh, create the ducting here. First, the important is you, you must know the uh, ceiling elevation. So. How to check the ceiling uh, elevation here? By clicking the, making the section from here to here. Okay, just a little bit uh, drag here. Okay, then click the section and then go to the view. So the ceiling is here. This line, so we make the mention from here to here, three meters, meaning the equipment should be inside the ceiling, somewhere here, maybe 3.5 or 3.2. Okay, uh, go back to the plan. Uh, first is the uh, placing the exhaust air, exhaust uh, air grid. I think this is not exhaust. Sorry, this is supply. AG is AG. Later on, for my next topic, I will uh, teach you how to make uh, annotation for uh, mechanical uh, services, including the ducting and other uh, types of uh, MEP. Okay, now uh, as you can see, well, uh, when I, if I click this uh, supply air grid, you can see that's three meters. I already created the, I already assigned the uh, offset dimension from this equipment by typing 3 meters because if I, because the ceiling height also here is 3 meters, should be uh, the supply air grill must attach to the ceiling. Okay, I will uh, just, just pick and then drag or you can you can uh, insert by see go to the uh, system air terminal here and then uh, see automatically uh, uh, with a exhaust grill. Since I, ha I have already created, uh, we will uh, put the exhaust air uh, supply air grill inside the room. Okay, from here, if you want to align from this corner, this corner. You, we will be using the align command or type AL. So pick the grill, supply air grill, and then pick the align here and here. Same process. Okay. After that, you can copy. You can copy. The, the easiest way is to copy. I think enough. Okay. So now we already have the proper positions of the mechanical equipment in the in the grill. So next step is we will create the ducting. If you click the FCU, there is a two square here. One for the supply and one for the return. So click first this rectangle. If you click this one, there is a note create ducting. Just pick here 
and extend up to here. Okay? But uh, the ducting is uh, gray color. We must assign this ducting according to the system type. Okay? By doing that, just click here, go to the properties, and then system type, and go to the supply air duct. <coughs> Sorry. So, okay. After that, once we created the ducting, if, uh, look for our drawing. The size of this ducting here is 400 by 200, and then another one is 300 by 200. Okay. Go back to the model. So, by splitting this one, by slicing this one, you can pick this uh, ducting and there is a symbol here split element meaning sl you can type sl split element pick here click this one and then pick already split so but the this the size of the ducting is 300 by 200 so you can uh, type tg to uh, make annotation in the ducting tg here Click here. TG is to annotation for the ducting shortcut command. So another, uh, I may put somewhere here below. Okay. And then another uh, ducting, type TG here. Okay. Little bit move the section. Maybe somewhere here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now this one is both 400 by 200. But according to the sample uh, model is 300 and 200. And then another one is 400, 200. Okay. Just click this one. And then pick. Just click this one. The annotation, ducting. And then you can type. 300 so once you type the 300 here okay, sorry did not double click single click only see the width is 300 once you, you type here any value you uh, input here automatically will adjust also the ducting so now the the ducting now is according to the ducting size is now according to our uh, sample of model. Okay. So next is to create the ducting to connect into the supply air grill. Okay. Just uh, by doing that, just click and then you can right click, then create similar. But take note. The size is 200, so we must arrange this one to 200. 200 up here. See, you can hover the mouse here, so automatically detect the alignment here and up to here. But it stop only from here. By the way, uh, we will be using the uh, uh, B build the. Uh, uh, type of uh, connector okay I repeat again so click here create similar should be 200 and then must choose the rectangular duct this is our previous discussion before how we created the this ducting plans in my third okay click the rectangular duct from here pick here okay same procedure, click the ducting, all 200, uh, okay, after we uh, created uh, all the ducting here, the next step is to connect this ducting into supply air grill. So by doing that, we will create first the 
section. From the section, pick here and pick here. Once you create the section, the section now uh, under the coordination, but there is a question mark. In order for you to arrange the section, you must uh, click this one. We will create the view template from this section. Okay, just click the uh, create view template and then type level 2 section. Okay, so as you after we creating the level 2 section template, go to the properties and then look for the view template and then level 2 section. But before you click the apply, you must uh, assign the section and you must create the sub discipline by uh, adding the sub discipline section and then under of course the under coordination. After we assign the sub discipline, discipline, and then the model, always choose the shaded. If you want, if you want to use the hidden or shaded, it's no problem. But for me, I comfortable using the shaded. Apply. Okay, and then under the detail level, always choose the fine. And then we check the section. Uh, go to the view and then uh, just drag until we see the floor okay now the supply grill already attached to the ceiling and there is adapting so next is to create uh, to connect uh, this ducting and the user by flexible pipe but in the section uh, view, you cannot create the flexible. If you want to create the flexible, you must go to the plan. Anyway, before doing that, in the six, uh, section, we can see there is a double bubble here. So to, to hide the other bubble from the link, other link of the draw, uh, model, click again, uh, go to the properties, and then view template, level 2 section. And then under uh, overrides rebate links, click here. You can see the uh, architectural and structural. So click the by host view, custom, and then under annotation categories, with custom again. Uh, pick uh, all button and then uncheck. Same procedure in the structural under uh, annotation categories, custom, tick all, apply, apply. Okay. Now the grid line or the link is already uh, hide. Okay, so next step is to create the flexible duct. Okay, we go to the plan and then from the plan type FD, packstrat and dog. F for the packstrat, D stands for dog. Okay, after uh, typing the FD, pick the uh, end of the duct. Pick here and then pick again the supply air grill. See, you can see already connected with the ducting and with the flexible. Sorry. So, in order for you to arrange the type of the flexible, you can pick the flexible and then you can see from the properties there is a flex pattern. You may choose the uh, flex two or We will use the oval single. Okay, we will uh, maintain this uh, flexible uh, duct, uh, this kind of type using the single. Okay, so same uh, procedure 
connect all the ducting using the flexible duct to the supplier grill okay connect D, connect D, connect okay once we created this one we connect already the flexible duct to uh, supply grill and ducting go to the view again you can see the flexible now already uh, connected to the ducting and uh, supply air grill go back to the plan again so <clears throat> uh, we create again the section this uh, side Here and pick, and then uh, adjust the boundary and then double click. Okay, take note that the, the section not properly arranged because this section, this section is not yet uh, uh, arranged the template so by. Uh, arrange the template for this section just click and then go to the properties under the view template check the none and then select the label to section apply ok now the section now is properly arranged so the distance of the advisable distance of the equipment from the ceiling is at least 250 or 300 because this is for the maintenance services you cannot put the TPU cell below like for example 100 is not for, uh, advisable because the maintenance if the need to uh, uh, maintenance for the FCU difficult to uh, repair or bring down the equipment so it's just advisable always to at least 300 250 or 300 but in my case I, I will use 300 okay go back to the plan and then in our sample uh, model there is a return air we will do uh, we will uh, create the ducting up to here and then later on if you want to continue just practice and uh, uh, by the way, if you want to uh, uh, request for my uh, repeat files, you can uh, send a comment uh, in my uh, channel or you can send email to me. Just inform me, I will give you the model for the structural and uh, architectural. So next lesson, uh, we will uh, use the same uh, structural and architectural model okay okay now the last uh, uh, the last uh, ducting to be uh, do is the uh, return air duct from here just click on the, the box here create the duct and then extend here okay one more once again the duct, uh, ducting is not yet properly arranged according to the system type okay same procedure go to the properties system type and then go to the return air duct apply okay now become orange uh, magenta color this coloring already discussed under blog 58 so if you want to know how to create how to apply coloring in the ducting system you can check my blog uh, 58 okay that's all folks we already now created the ducting in one room just try to complete the another uh, er other areas but since you don't have the architectural in uh, uh, in uh, structural you may use your own uh, files. This is only the guidelines how to create my how to create the ducting. It's a very simple one. Okay, folks, that's it. 
Uh, again, once again, mga kapugo, uh, kahit na ganito ang aking content, sana po uh, masuportahan niyo pa rin ako. At sa mga bago pa lang nanonood sa akin, uh, pwede niyo i-recommend ang aking channel sa kung meron kayong kakilala na working in construction industry, in uh, mga CAD user na AutoCAD user na gusto matuto ng review, you can recommend my channel. Okay? Thank you very much for watching and I hope na sana kahit hindi kayo mimipi, pinagtsagaan niyo panahore ng aking video. Okay, bye-bye! Next video ulit, babus! Peace out!